Hello viewers, I'm SB and welcome back to Doom Eternal. Uh, I recorded those previous three episodes all in one sitting. This is the first time I'm playing the game after that, and I gotta tell you, I've been thinking about it all day. I had other stuff I had to do today, but every moment of uh, every moment of it, I was like, yeah, but what if I was playing Doom Eternal instead? Wouldn't that be fun? I'm real I'm real happy to be back, is what I'm saying. Alright, let's get in here and show this Mancubus who is boss. It's me, because I have the rocket launcher. The guy with the rocket launcher is the boss. That's just the rules, my friend. But that actually worked really well. Why don't I... Why, why don't they all go that smoothly? Okay, I gotta, like, take the rest of these enemies fairly seriously. Alright, so the energy shield seems like is pretty solid against... Oh, hey, that didn't actually stun him. Yeah, I think the problem is I didn't, uh, I didn't get it in his mouth. I hit him on the side of the head with it. Alright, that's fine. You know what that is. That's just, uh, that's just morning jitters. I mean, it's not morning, but you know, that's just first time in a little while jitters. Still, parts of that worked really well. Like this part where we shoot the man us a hundred times with the rocket launcher. Alright, oh, I was gonna, I was gonna say, alright, now drop my, drop the armor for me. Uh, that's, you know what? We're working it out. You know what I should do? We should open with the frost grenade, right? There's no reason to be letting these enemies, like, do stuff. Yeah, look at that. Look how much less damage I take. Nope, never mind. Never mind. It was, <laughs> it was still a huge amount. Okay. Here's the thing. I like a good frontal assault. That's really my kind of strategy. Clearly not working here. We're just going to have to, like, uh, engage in a little, a little bit of maybe flanking maneuver sort of uh oops get stuck on a uh get stuck on a wall that's not really a good strategy oh i was totally gonna plasma shield or plasma break that guy's shield but apparently not necessary i don't have a lot of ammo it feels like not in a good place ammo wise oh hey how you doing okay that one we got him Ah, can't get past the Kaku Demon Corpse. Oh, God. Okay. I feel like things are going better this time. I mean, not to jinx myself. Also, not at all on purpose that I stepped onto that jump pad. Oh, look at me making good use of my runes. I'm feeling so good about this run. I should probably stop saying things like that before I jinx it. Well, I pretty much just shot the floor there. I, like, I knew the I knew the Arachnotron was coming up after us. It's just a matter of being patient enough to let him get here. Alright, somebody's getting blood punched. Shoot, I ran out of ammo. Uh, new gun. Yes, this gun has bullets in it. Come on. There we go. There we go. This game's easy. What was I even freaked out about? Oh, probably those guys. Those guys are a little freaky. They're not, like, super dangerous, but they are definitely worrying. Thank you. Uh, you. I need bullets. I feel like we're low ammo on everything right now. Is that another Mancubus? It sure is. Right on the face. That's the secret. You just gotta shoot them with grenades directly in their face. Boy, the, uh... The slowdown rune doesn't play super well with this thing because the slowdown is just a little too intense. Come on, die. Alright, the game gave me that one. I really didn't earn it. It takes a lot of punishment to that arm to knock it off, huh? Wait, where'd the mancubus go? Wow, they're fast for their size. Oops, I, uh... <laughs> <laughs> kind of screwed up my glory kill there. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's what I needed. No. Bad Revenant. How dare you. Come on. Okay, well, death is fine. Also, I tapped R there because I was trying to reload. Apparently, I still have not learned the lesson that you do not reload the guns in this game, even after having played a whole other game. Okay. That went better. That feels so good. Every single every single one of these combat encounters feels so good. All right, let's uh, have a look around here before we go running off anywhere. Uh, we have the cheaty map now, thanks to our Praetor suit. Okay, so we know we know what kind of stuff is upcoming. Even there's a free life and a secret of some kind up there. Looks like we missed a thing back here. I don't even know what that is. Where's the? 
Legend. That's a sentinel battery up there for the ship. Well, it's pretty close to the, to the start of the level. Probably the best way to get that will actually be to just finish things and then come back for it later. So let's make sure we're not missing anything terribly significant up here. I mean, ammo's fine. Obviously, we have a chainsaw for solving that problem. I do want to go into things with as much armor as possible, though. All right, this will do. How do we get that one up? That is pretty far up there. Oh, I missed. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Wow, oh, that Sentinel battery is just a total gimme, huh? <laughs> they don't make you look for that one at all. Alright. Something's, something's shooting at me. What was it? It does sound like it's coming. Yes, it totally is coming from out there. Is that... You know what? If it's just going to stay out there, I don't... I don't have to care about that. You can't make me care about that. Uh, how am I supposed to get up to that one up? It doesn't look like there's really anything to climb around here. Hmm. The fact that the text is facing this way makes me think we're supposed to get it from out here. Alright, hold on. We are going to go kill this... Kill this guy here. Man, I really, really like that slowdown effect. That is super good. What a strong rune. Okay, uh... Boy, do you think we could stand on one of those? I don't know that that would be good enough. And also, I'm concerned about the fact that it seems to have fire coming out of it. Well, turns out you can't stand on them anyway. What about this stuff over here? Nope. Nope, you very much cannot stand on that. Well, huh. I mean, it's just a one-up. It's not really the end of the world if it doesn't, uh, if we don't get it, but it's just, it's so prominent. It's so easy to see. It feels, oh, hold on. There's a switch here that I'm just, like, not even hitting. How about I hit the switch? Ah, there we go. There's a thing. Okay. Gotta make sure to use the uh, use the dashes at the apex of the jump. That's all. Of a good jumping puzzle. All right, I think we earned that. Your this is ominous. Lies in his destruction. The myth of the Slayer's strength is exposed now to us. Can you see it, brothers? He has lost the result to continue. Are you sure? It is so. I must survive this. Protect me in my time of need, and you will secure your place in the new world. Uh, I think they f they failed. Hey there, hey friend. Are you, uh... I mean, I kind of feel a little bad now that I know they're not even really hostile. I mean, maybe they're not really hostile. Dude does look a little bit like Freddy Krueger. It's not a great sign. You know, we're just gonna... Just in case. I mean, at this point, in for a penny, in for a pound, right? Secret found? Really? Are you sure? It doesn't look like a secret. It looks like a thing that I literally had to encounter to move forward. What does the word secret mean? Okay, well... There's a combat arena up ahead. There are... Many secrets in the immediate area. Wow, that is like a, this area is dense with secrets. All right, we'll just uh, we'll keep our eyes open. Assuming, yeah, I can't go down there. Your super shotgun is nearby. <gasps> a relic from your past. The priests have kept it hidden from you in this remote location. Doesn't feel that remote. This feels like a trap to everyone else, right? It's not just me being paranoid. It just seems like such a. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, as far as traps go, that one was not awesome. They're not exactly killing me. Alright, I have strong feelings about the super shotgun. Well, alright, the uh, floor of the room seems to have withdrawn. This is the part where it becomes a trap. I mean, I could just, just go this way. 
Okay, so not like much of a trap. And it started to become spiky. There is stuff down there. Just go down? I guess I just go down. Let's just go down. We'll, uh, we'll hang out down here. Cue ball. Cue balls are ambient demons that wander around, shoot them, send them flying, and then they do explosions. I do love a big explosion. Oh, that doesn't work. You do have to hit the cue ball. Okay, that's cool. Need you to take it easy with all that flamethrower noise, please. Actually, thank you for reminding me, though. I should definitely be using my flamethrower. I was kind of hoping that I'd be able to overload their uh, their energy shields there. Oh, right. Also, grenades. Don't forget to use your grenades. Oh, you can't. I had to blood punch that guy to break him. You can't just walk up to a guy who's frozen and immediately explode him in the way that I would hope. There we go. Shoot around the shield. Duh. The rocket launcher is, like, pretty okay. Oh, that is, a. Uh... That is a real enemy, not a guy you can just run up to and blow up. Uh, am I allowed to chainsaw cue ball? No, okay. I didn't... That didn't seem like it would make sense. You! You I can chainsaw. So I need a little help here. Okay, kind of shooting myself with a rocket launcher a small amount. You know, whatever gets the job done. Still gotta lead him. There we go. Perfect. Feel very good about that. Attack by something else. That's fine. We need a little bit of health anyway. Nope, that's not how you do that. I keep shooting those guys because I'm just like, hey, look, an enemy. Terrifying. But I should probably, you know, actually shoot them toward the other enemies. Again, I just did. I did literally exactly the same thing. Ow. Don't stand on the things that shoot giant gouts of flame. Got it. Okay. Uh, a little worried about my health. Okay, no ammo. Well, I used the cue ball fairly successfully there. Oh, I think I actually did kill the other man cubus with it. That's something. There we go. Look at me. I can be taught, eventually. And it only costs me my life. Oh, wait. Hello? How do I... Well, hold on a second. We get ourselves some ammo. I guess, I guess that's all the ammo. Alright, how do we access... There's a lot of things in here that I would like to access, please. Uh... Is there an indication on the inside of this room? What direction? Yeah, it looks like it's just dropped down from above. Maybe? No. They want me to go that... Okay, so go go out here. But hold on a second. This wall is totally climbable. Except I can't get up that high. Uh, is there anything else climbable in here? No, maybe, maybe we have to move on a little bit and come back. I open these gates and then, uh, oh, this might be helpful. We open these gates and can come in, into this room from a little higher up. Okay, well, I guess I see what they want me to do. Really? That seems very far away. Alright, well, not a lot of options here. I got it eventually. I, I touched the I touched the floor garbage a small amount. Oh. Okay. Apparently that's all I had to do. So what do we want now? Uh, people stay on fire longer. Demons drop armor faster. None of that stuff seems quite what I'm looking for. Um, I feel like we don't spend a lot of time at max health, so health for blood probably not all that useful. Although I guess if our armor is going well, that does protect our health. 
You know, what do we... I guess, what do we want? Do we want health, armor, or ammo? Maybe that's a good way to start. We end up down to just the chainsaw fairly frequently, but also being down to just the chainsaw is fine. It's probably more health or more armor. Let's go for belch armor boost. How about that? We'll take the, we'll take the health up on this. And of course, it's not enough to just like take an upgrade. You have to punch the upgrade in half. Cuz you're the doom guy, and obviously we're doing this thing. Nope, that's just that's a That time I even tried to use him correctly. Okay, this is not working out so well. I keep forgetting that you can't uh, you can't do the Caco Demon weak point thing with the frost grenade. I guess that's the real downside of being in frost grenade mode is that I have to remember to uh, switch to the shotgun in order to take advantage of the Caco Demon weak point. But we can, of course, just kill them the old-fashioned way. We don't always have to use the uh, the weak point thing, but it feels really good to do it. Come on. Boy, this isn't going all that well. Come on, overload. Nope, the Revenant's not over there anymore. This is a, this is a tougher one. Alright, let's try it again. Yeah, let's just walk over to the portal and punch it. You big lummox. Ah, man. It's actually pretty hard to uh, get those things to go exactly where you want them to. Alright, so they definitely... The tight time limit means we definitely have to do these uh, these overcharges like this. Plus, it's still alive. Is it you? Okay, yeah, it was. The... I thought that guy did not count as a real enemy, but apparently he did. Alright, four weapon points. I'm doing all right, so that way is forward, but I guess we're cool to go forward. I don't think we have a lot of other stuff to do right now. Yeah, secrets are forward. I got there eventually. I figured it out, you know? It's got to count for something. Uh, is there anything... Can I get anywhere near that? And I cannot grab onto that bit of the wall, even though it sort of looks like the parts of the wall you can grab onto. Okay. That's fine. What happens if we ride this down, actually? Hold on. I'll, I'll be right with you there, objective marker. Does this take me if I just stay in it? Aha! Uh -huh. Is this actually the way forward? No, right? Oh, making a lot of noise behind me. Oh, maybe this is the way forward. You can get in this thing and ride it up, too. I don't know what's going on, man. We're gonna get back down there and try to do that uh, timing puzzle right. If I shoot this, it just opens that thing. Doesn't that just put me back in the same room? Why do I want to do that? I don't know, I guess let's go find out. Then also... Hey, that seems useful. Thanks, Sir Galahad. Okay. Hit this. Let's me oh, it lets me grab that, which does... What, what does that do? It doesn't look like it lets me... I guess it lets me get up there. Yeah, that must be the thing. But if that's what we're trying to do... If I would need to get up there to progress, then what does this do? Doesn't this take me up into the same area? 
No, this doesn't. <laughs> this doesn't go anywhere. I'd have to be. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So that is in fact just forward. Well, that's fine. It's not as exciting as a secret, but we'll take it. Shoot this thing. Do this. And then. All right. I figured it out eventually. We always get there eventually. Yeah, man, the glory kills feel so much better once you have the, uh, the dash. It was awfully nice of the game to give me the stick there, because I think... In slow motion, it was really obvious that I just, like, hard missed that remnant with my grenade. That's interesting. Did you see that? He, uh... He went out of glory kill mode because it took me too long to get to him, but then me hitting him with a normal punch put him back into it. Uh... Nothing is marked with a green... A green light, so I don't know which way is forward, which means I don't know which way not to go first. There's a battery back there, so let's go this way. Thanks, crazy Praetor suit vision. We need to get out there? I mean, probably we just ride this up, right? Do I not have low ammo? This will do. This is a fine weapon. Okay, so now we have two loose batteries, which is enough to actually power something in the ship. Power something meaningful. Well... This is just back where we were before, right? Also... A lot of stuff over there yet. This level doubles back around on itself quite a bit, huh? Yeah, there's a lot of, um, I'm going to tell you right now, without the map, I would not be able to keep straight where we are, because there's a lot of doubling back and changing elevations, and do I want to use the, I mean, alright. It sure seems like this could be real bad, though. I mean, for him, mostly. Okay, that's pretty wild. These things can just fly, right? So, seems... Oh, okay. You guys probably not s supposed to be just hovering there. I think that's probably a bug. So, we have an afterburner. We had some rockets. Rockets are pretty good. Wait, hey. Uh, hold mouse to use your jetpack to fly. Afterburner with shift. If you run out of fuel, that's bad. Shoot your rockets. Press F to do a barrage. Alright, let's do a barrage. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty alright. Wow, those twin rockets are very powerful. This whole deal feels like pretty good. Are the, is this how strong they usually are? If we could trick them into fighting other enemies, would they do this much damage? Yeah, wow. Two shots of Kakwood even. How dare you. Oh, out of fuel. I'm assuming I can't, um, I can't do glory kills and stuff as the Revenant, right? Turns out the best, uh, the best weapon against a Revenant might just be another Revenant. Oops, I overheated my rocket booster immediately. What am I doing running for cover? First of all, this is Doom, and secondly, look at how powerful my rocket launchers are.
Now you done it. Actually, that didn't that didn't quite have the impact that I was hoping for. It's a very visually impressive attack, but uh, not so much with the actual killing enemies. That's pretty good, though. I'm not saying I'd want to play the rest of the game as a revenant, but it's not it's not horrible, you know. Uh, can I just pick the shotgun up and bring it back to the dude? I guess that's what we're doing. Hello, I have retrieved the shotgun. But please do not blow me up. So wait, now that we're not in the thing, we're not in control of him anymore, right? So I should probably, you know, before he wakes up. Just seemed like the right thing to do. Okay, well, I would like to state for the record uh, that this is the best shotgun in video games, right here. Some shotguns are pretty super, but only one shotgun is the super shotgun. Am I missing anything? No, I'm not missing anything. Super Shotgun is a devastating close-range weapon that features the Meat Hook mod. Mouse 2 to pull yourself to the demon. Uh, right after it said that, it... Listen, it would have been easier for me to pull myself to the demon if I hadn't been interrupted in the air by a dialogue box, is all I'm saying. Alright, and with our, uh, with our slowdown rune... The slowdown rune triggers the moment we pull ourselves off the ground... So it's always going to make that meat hook thing very dramatic. Pulled myself past him, around him. Kaboom! <laughs> well, his shield seemed somewhat ineffective. Alright, you're getting chainsawed. Listen, I have all these other guns, but I don't want to use them. I like this gun. Uh, I didn't even kind of aim at him. It's just like, it puts out so many pellets. Alright, should we just blood punch these next guys? Surprise! Oh, that's not how that works. Wow. We took him down very quickly. Again, super shotgun. Sort of a man for all seasons. Once again, if the uh, if the next one of these we open contains a, a guy that we can chainsaw. Oh, can't chainsaw that dude. Trying to get close enough to do the mouse two thing. There we go. You know, the slow motion's like a little antithetical to the whole thing, I guess. Did I do it? No, I did not quite get his turret there. That time I did, though. Hey, his turret didn't fall off. I feel fairly confident that I successfully shot him in the turret with my, uh, my fancy gun. I'm trying to blood punch him because I'm... There we go. Trying to blood punch him because I'm frustrated with trying to deal with his turret. I like the fact that all the weak point stuff feels very impactful, but it's also, like, very clearly not the only way to deal with the enemy. Uh, is this the gun I want? Boy, we're running a little low on everything, huh? Alright. Nope, can't chainsaw that guy either. You can take all of his shotgun ammo. Alright, well... That's, it's got a real, like, hardcore skull thing got hit with a nerf dart kind of feel to it. Well, that was pretty easy to get. Alright, uh, I mean, we may as well just send him flying. So is it the same, it is the same ammo as the normal shotgun. 
that's going to make it hard to justify use of the normal shotgun ever again. Attention, all cultist base personnel. Please destroy the Slayer. The priest must survive. I mean, I guess the, the normal shotgun is still the grenade launcher. And in fact, this is a great example of a situation where I totally do want to use that again. Yeah, they're really hurling a lot of tiny enemies at us. I guess maybe I'm supposed to... Wow. Maybe I am supposed to be super shotgunning these guys just to get a good sense of how it handles against crowds. All right, we'll keep it uh, keep it equipped here. On the whole, I feel like things are going pretty well, which means we're about due for an encounter where I die several times again. That's uh, that's fairly intense. What am I to do with this? I feel like this place has even more skulls than the last one. Alright, so I'm supposed to get around to that. I mean, these doesn't do anything. How do we get up? Okay, definitely don't want to be down there. I mean, I can't just jump up onto these spikes, can I? I thought maybe, you know, it's not unreasonable that we could swing on those. They're long enough you could get a grip on them. Definitely have to get up top. Here we go. Here's what we're looking for. Easy. There are more stuff over here? I mean, it feels like there must be. So they want me, I think, to just like rocket myself off of this thing into that guy. But I'm kind of curious about what's over here. Okay, nothing. It's just you could you could have come at this from either side of the room. Okay, that makes sense, I guess. Alright, so we want to go up and to the left, because that's where the secret is. I mean, it's not much of a secret. All you'd have to do is turn to your left to see it. So we probably built up a fair number of freighter points at this point. I should probably, like, actually... Let's actually take a look at these here. No, not that. This button. There we go. Yeah, we have four points and also a lot of other stuff. I mean, you just finish out the weapon category. Do you get anything for completing a whole category? I guess let's find out. So, larger auto map reveal. And... No. Okay. Well, that's a shame. I did get an achievement, I think. It might, that achievement might have just been for, like, buying four upgrades, though. All right, and then uh, Arsenal, we have some weapon upgrades to get. So we use the, the micro-missiles a fair amount. The upgrades here. Load time decreased, reload time decreased. What's load? I guess this is um the time it takes while you're holding right-click for it, the thing to charge up all the way. Primary charger is fine. It's honestly not that exciting. Uh, the heat blast. The heat blast is cool. Firing delay is reduced. Charge is increased. Those both seem... okay. Meat hook recharge, shotgun... oh, you know what? Fast hands. That seems like a winner. And then we can... F we can do quick hook as well and just open up the mastery whenever it is we're allowed to take on the mastery challenges. Oh, no, the mastery challenge is just the thing... okay, so kill 50 demons with the super shotgun while using the meat hook. Yeah, destroy 50, 25 Arachnotron turrets. Okay, it's not like a challenge level. It's just, it's just, a, it's just a challenge. It's just like a normal challenge. That's why they use the word challenge. So that you look at it and go, hey, that's a challenge. What an obvious challenge. Well then, my my dash did not recharge. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I wasn't on the uh, on top of that thing, standing still for long enough for the game to count it as me having landed. There we go. Okay. So meat hook dudes and also 
use the sticky bombs to knock turrets off arachnotrons. Both of these are things that I would like to do anyway, so I don't feel too bad about these being my challenges. All right. This right here is exactly the kind of place that looks like a mine, doesn't it? Yeah, that seems bad. Let's not go too, go too close to that. This right here is exactly the kind of place where I would hide a secret thingy. Ow. Well, we claim all the armor I just lost on that. But no, it doesn't really look like there is a secret in here. I mean, that looks like something. Something's going on in there for sure. There's a breakable wall. Is this anything? No, this is not anything. It doesn't look like we can go any higher. Well, that's serious. Nope, that did not break that. I figured it was just a punch thing, but then, like, why even have the explosive there? Ah. Okay. Nope, no ammo in the rocket launcher. Come on, give me another one. Oh, God. Can't. I tried to I tried to chainsaw the little guy, and apparently uh, the game thought I was going after the salamander instead. Oh yeah, ice bomb. That's a good idea. In super close quarters like that, that's absolutely what I should have done. Uh, all right. Was that all? That is just a little bit of ammo. Hold on. Yeah, okay, it looks like it looks like there's nothing really to worry about in here. If I had been able to chainsaw that little dude, get some get some more ammo for my uh, for my guns, I don't know, I might have been able to uh, to get through that. I guess we don't know exactly how difficult the encounter is, but the timer on it's pretty short. Also, I'm coming in here with full blood punch. I should probably make use of the blood punch. Also that, I should be accused of that. Okay, there's a good blood punch. Well, I picked up an awful lot of armor there, but in doing so I ran too close to him and apparently he has some kind of some kind of ground pound that also causes fire. Alright, we gotta open up with a uh with a chainsaw on the first enemy we can chainsaw, maybe. Those mancubuses are so much easier to deal with. Thank you, bye, I guess? So much easier to deal with if you have rocket launcher ammo. Uh, relative to the thing? Oh, it, that's... There is yet another pillar to climb. I have not actually gotten to the top. My brain's getting all scrambled by my fury. My awesome slayer's fury. No, actually, it's just scrambled by the fact that I'm dumb. Trying to take advantage of the, uh... That didn't really work. I think the plan there was solid, the, uh, taking advantage of the frost grenade, but unfortunately, I think I fired it a little too early. The one, the one salamander guy had not actually spawned in. These dudes are tough. Alright, we are going to basically do that same thing again. A lot of parts of that were right, except without the dying this time. That's the entirety of my plan, is do that again, but don't lose. And if that doesn't work, why well, I don't know what will. Okay. Take a moment here, take stock of things. I mean, I have this super shotgun. I have all this super shotgun. Perhaps I should make use of that. Let's 
trying to meat hook that guy, but apparently I just didn't. Oh, actually, you can't. Maybe you can't meat hook this enemy. Oh no, the cursor jumps over to him sometimes. Ah, damn it. Yeah, I was trying to save the frost grenade that time for uh, for when it was all the big guys. So I keep saying we should chainsaw one of the little dudes right away, and I keep not doing it. Maybe this would be a good time to actually follow my own advice. In general, not a thing that has been good for me in life, but perhaps here in Doom Eternal, I finally know what I'm talking about for the first time in 30 some odd years. Maybe this is the thing I'm a natural at. Maybe we finally found it. Uh, so, gonna start with this guy out. Gonna, we're gonna fail to operate the, uh, the gate once again. We're gonna chainsaw this dude. There we go. See, now we have rocket launcher ammo. Which feels like a big improvement. Again, I tried to reflexively reload. Rocket launcher. The rocket launcher is the way to go. Just always get more rocket launcher in. Alright, so where, where exactly am I falling here? I see. It's gonna be one of these. Okay, that was... This is a little nerve-wracking. This is like a tiny bit terrifying. Out of... there we go. That's what I was looking for. Keep getting those meat hook kills when possible. Whenever we see an Arachnotron, we must give him the, uh, the, the grenade. Alright, so the problem I'm having here is that there are tentacles in this room, and I am not ready for them. Nope, wait, not this gun. Here, this. This'll work. Yeah, getting surprised by tentacles is the worst. Oh, I thought those were armor for a second there. What is this? Okay, I'm supposed to go up from here. Just make sure we haven't missed anything important. Like the opportunity to get slapped in the face by a completely stationary enemy. Alright, there is in fact a blue guy. Still don't actually know what these are. I mean, aside from creepy. Which they undoubtedly, undoubtedly are. Alright, I'm assuming whatever we do up here is going to... No, it's not quite that easy, actually. Is there a switch somewhere? Hold on. This thing have a gap in its roof? Oh, well, there's a room over there. Oh, wait, that's the thing we gotta check out. I didn't have to come back here. We could have just done a live and let live thing there. Why? Why would I ever do that? Ah, okay, that raises this thing. Is there anything else going on in this room? Uh, that looks maybe significant. Where are we at? See, that would be up here, but that's the objective anyway. So yeah, we're, we're gonna end up there no matter what, and then the Slayer Gate is not too far away. Okay. The slow motion. The slow motion is very cool. Ah, I tried to chainsaw the shield guy so that I didn't have to worry about the shield mechanics. <laughs> very funny. Very a very fun thing to do. I'm having a heck of a time actually. Uh, Wait, where is the where's the revenant that missile locked me? Apparently I've been killing enemies by shooting barrels. The uh, the barrels in this game are a little bit sort of unobtrusive, and I'm not even noticing when we're hitting them, apparently. There you are. Pretty happy about that shot. 
I mean, it's a lot easier when time slows down. Once again, reflexive reload syndrome. Uh, so, is there anything else around here? Okay, picking up the chainsaw fuel at the end of the encounter is maybe a good idea, because this means the next time we're in a battle arena, we can just try to run to the chainsaw fuel immediately, and then maybe chainsaw a big enemy instead of having to deal with it in a fair way. So who wants to be fair when you could cut a guy in half with a chainsaw? A big guy. All right. So we are told... Apparently there's a secret I ran right past. I don't know what to do about that. I guess we'll we'll come back and get it later. Hmm. Is it exactly what I need to do here? I can't mess with this at all. Is the thing down here, does it have like a lens on it or something that I need to... Yes, that is exactly what happened, in fact. Are you growing tired, Slayer? I'm alright. Oh, you you weren't genuinely expressing concern for me at all. Oh right, I was gonna try to save Chainsaw Fuel. Well, whatever. We need ammo too. Listen, we can just shoot people, it's fine. It's a little old school, but it works. I do have the cultist key, don't I? Isn't that what the cross-shaped key is? Yeah. Ah. Uh, oops, I did not actually hit anything with that. That's pretty fun. That's just a good, fun weapon. You know, all the Doom music is still happening, but I think we're clear, right? And maybe the game's just enjoying jamming out. What do I have to do to turn this on? Oh, sure. How about the obvious thing? Oh, wait. I suppose we should probably take these glory kills. I do need the health. Also, the blood punch is very satisfying. It's got good, uh, good audio-visual feedback. Alright, so there's a punch spot on that guy's chest. Here's our Slayer Gate. So wait. This being purple, does that is that just straight up telling me that's the Slayer Key? Because if so... We might be getting a little bit too much information. Yes, that is absolutely telling me that. Well, I guess it doesn't exactly tell me how to access it. You know, I do wanna I do wanna get to search for the secrets. I guess we could just not look at our map so much. But the information's there if we need it. So how are we going to get let me get to this thing? We gotta get around behind. Uh, it looks like we come up from below, maybe? Alright, where could we get below this room? Uh. Sure, we have ammo. So that's the thing we're maybe supposed to punch. Over here would be the way forward. And down there. Aha! Okay, I just barely made that. Alright, well then you know what time it is. Time to do a thing that I'm definitely, definitely going to be able to accomplish. You know, even if it doesn't work out the first uh, couple dozen times, these are super fun. Oh, uh, the, the one that we did, anyway. Oh, 
All right. So last time they put me up against a new enemy. I wonder if that will be the case here, if like you'll always see an enemy that you haven't met in the game yet, or... Apparently I slightly failed, also definitely shot myself in the face with a rocket. You should probably not blow the rocket ammo on normal enemies, because yeah, we need it for these guys. That's a shame. I accidentally shot one extra rocket there and uh, killed him before I could glory kill him. It's the wrong kind of murder. Be much more specific than that. So you can use the uh, you can use the slowdown time uh, rune even if the weapon you're using doesn't have a mod. It just makes it impossible to fire, unfortunately. That's not how you... There we go. You just have to hit him with the shotgun is all. Alright, I like this as a strategy. That extra air control rune is buying me a lot of... Uh, it's helping me escape a bunch here, which is really nice. Ah, uh, get me away from this. Okay, here we go. Need to give ourselves a second to breathe. Okay, that purple teleporting guy is not the Mancubus. So we're still we're still on Mancubus duty here. We're still hunting that guy. Oh, Jesus. No, I can't get up to him. Damn it. My failure to glory kill the Mancubus, I think, is going to haunt me forever. I probably had an air dash. I bet I could have gotten him, if I was thinking about it enough. It's kind of the thing here, though, you know? They uh, they pressure you. They don't want to give you time to think about it enough. I liked our open there. This is maybe even better. Also, maybe I should be more willing to uh, blood punch here. I accidentally hit, a, hit one of those... Uh, horizontal pulls there, I think. All of a sudden changed momentum when I wasn't expecting to change momentum. Uh, super shotgun. There we go. Ah, failed to get up. Oh, he's dead. He's just kind of slumped against a wall. Well, that's no good. There's a third one. Alright, where's somebody I can meet hook? Need to keep my momentum up here. Ah! Right, I should have known that he was going to be right there. The good news is, we totally wrecked him. Bad news is, I got close to him, and that's a really bad idea. Alright, looks cool every single time. You know what? I'm going to switch back to the other shotgun. Because the super, super shotgun's doing too much damage to these little guys, and it's making it impossible to, um impossible to glory kill them. Oh god. This is not a good time to corner myself. Okay, so 10 health and no armor. It's not ideal. Just give ourselves a little bit of time to think about this. Oh. <laughs> dude, this dude just walked up to me and punched me in half. Because I was not looking at him because I'm terrified of caco demons. What a time to be out of grenades. And I could have just swapped my frost grenade back to the normal grenade, uh, but I would have to remember to do that. Okay, uh... Try to get all this armor earlier in the fight. Maybe that'll, uh... will help a little bit. Ow. Managed to fire that rocket after jumping around the corner. Did he just teleport in? I did not know that they could teleport. Ah, uh, stuck on the thing. Okay, just trying to get my stuff back together here. You know what I'm not using enough is the flamethrower. Okay, this is going to be a ton of health and armor, 
And then I'm going to lose it all immediately because the other Mancubus was right there. Uh, rockets? No rockets. Shotgun ammo. Shotgun ammo works. Also, I do have three chainsaw fuel. Oh. I don't even know what killed me there. I don't think that imp got me. I mean, the soldier guys have a ranged attack. I'm kind of disregarding them. That's probably not actually a good idea. I got a little greedy there. Once I realized we had three play, uh, chainsaw fuel, I was like, let's go find that Mancubus. Here's what I should actually do. Let's not go for the Mancubus right away with the, uh, the grenade launcher, but instead use the grenade launcher to clean up an additional enemy early on. I feel really good about that one. Plus, the way I finished him off was super cool. So, basically, hooray for me. Ah. Uh, ran out of ammo before I got him into glory kill. Where's my plasma gun? Here we go. Damn it. Having that same plasma gun problem. Damage output is too uh, too high to allow me to glory kill normal enemies and too low to quickly kill the really scary ones. Okay, that worked out. Oh boy. That second Mancubus spawned and I got stuck on him. I was trying to backpedal for a significant portion of that, and I just, it just wasn't working. And I was like, am I up against the wall? I'm pretty sure I'm not. So I turned, and there he was. But unfortunately, my brain took just a little bit too long to process what was happening. Okay. Six sticky grenades. I think that's going to get a couple of kills. Ooh, yeah, I got a little closer to him than I probably should have. Also, as cool as the glory kill is, I did run into the fire crap that he leaves all over the ground, so that was maybe not actually worth it. Oh, cool, he's down. Give me super shotgun. You hear lots of angry sounds behind me. They are pursuing me, perhaps because they are not aware of the super shotgun. Okay, I'm gonna need some... Ah, uh, yep, need some ammo. I am having a real problem here where, like, something unexpected is happening. Like, I turn and there's a caco demon, and I just have, like, a moment of my brain staticking out. You could hear it when I, <laughs> when I go, ah, out loud. That's the sound of my brain going, my brain just uh, not working for a couple of seconds, which is too long in Doom. Also, maybe a good idea not to grenade yourself via the, uh, via the barrel. Okay, I'm gonna try not spending all of my normal shotgun ammo. Ah, come on. Yeah, see right there. I got I got caught on that guy, tried to dash past him, and just like no brain no brain activity activity at all for like a second and a half as I was like, oh god, this isn't the situation I thought I was going to be in. Maybe I'm not caffeinated enough for this, you know? Okay, that's interesting. So I can if I'm hold mouse to before I jump. Uh, then I can use the other modes of the weapon in the air without triggering the slowdown. Which is not, for the record, what I wanted there, but it might be useful information in the future. Maybe. Okay, well, that was gross. So I'm definitely getting hit in the back, and I'm not even sure by what. We are going to need a glory kill or something. I need some health, man. Alright. This is not health. This is armor, but it will have to do. I thought I, I thought I heard pursuers. Okay, that's health. That'll that'll do. 
So there is that other flamethrower, or that other chainsaw fuel. No! I missed the Mancubus because that guy jumped out of nowhere in front of us! Okay. I'm really glad that it still gave me that, uh... That glory kill, because I sure took my sweet time getting it. That'll get him... I know, not ideal. Just, <laughs> just taking this opportunity to freeze the enemies and give myself a moment to think. There we go, that's what you want. Okay, actually killed him with the blood punch. I think we're almost done. Ah. I'm actually, like, really happy every single time we see a Kako Demon. This is like, that's an enemy I know what to do about. Got him. Oh, it did not actually got him. Also, did you know there are even more waves of enemies in this thing? Alright, hold on. We're in a dire state here. I have already consumed pretty much all of the armor and uh, health pickups. So, we are down to just what we can get from the remaining enemies. Please go into glory kill mode. Ah, damn it. I was trying to rush him there because I really, really wanted, as soon as he turned blue, I wanted to be up on him for that kill. I will give this a couple more tries before we call it for the day. We are absolutely going to get this, though. I'm spending too many resources too early in the fight, though. By the, like, by the time we get to the Arachnotron wave, there's nothing left in the arena. Oh, that's the wrong button. Okay. A decent start. Ah, uh, I really thought that uh, rocket was going to push him into glory kill. Well, no glory kill for me. That's still health, though. Damn it, I'm having a really hard time getting glory kills because my weapons are too damn effective. Oh god. Armor, armor, armor. Speaking of armor, remember the uh remember the flamethrower, man. Oh, look at all of that. Look at all that beautiful armor and health. There's no bullets left in my rocket launcher. You know, rocket launcher bullets. If only there was some kind of name for those special bullets that you get in a rocket launcher. Okay. Yes! The missing out on all the glory kills is not only a bad thing because of the lack of health, remember. It also means that I'm not getting blood punches. And blood punch is so good! You just always want to be blood punching people. And then you see the Kako Demon and you realize you've not been using your grenade this entire time. Oops, I accidentally hit there. Uh, there's a ledge over there. I'm having a little bit of a problem with, um, accidentally... Accidentally catching the edges of stuff when we're in the air, when I don't mean to, and then being very thrown off. <laughs> well, alright. Chainsaw Kaku Demon in half, I'll take it. Okay, that one's good. You heard the metallic twang. Of a uh, of an arachno demon being made very sad. 
So I know the other one is up, but I'm trying to get rid of the one that's going to keep rushing us because I don't need that kind of pressure while I'm still fighting out here. Ah. Uh, once again, oh, there are three of them. I thought I had the situation, like, not under control exactly. That would be overstating. But I thought I had the situation comprehended at least. Because I thought I knew where all two of the uh, Arachnotrons were in that little arena. Okay. Not the best version of that. Didn't actually hit either of the soldiers. Ah. I got a little, uh, a little greedy for the glory kill there. I saw that guy way, way off in the distance turning blue, and I was like, well, I must rush him. On. Ah. Once again, greedy for the glory kill. Just too, too eager to try to make it happen. I wanted to stay close to that Mancubus because the moment he turned. All right. Let's, uh, let's give this one more good try here. And we'll call it for the day. I'm really, really digging these combat arenas, though. Once again. Once again, getting too greedy. Alright. Remember to use the flamethrower. Remember to use the grenades. I need... Shoot, I need a weapon that has some bullets in it. Okay, this'll do. Again, very greedy. It worked out, but that doesn't mean it was the right move. Alright, it's Kaku Demon time? If I'm remembering correctly? Oh, no. No, we're not there yet. I didn't kill all the... Thank you by Mancubuses? Mancubities. I didn't kill all those guys yet. Come on. Alright, well, I'll, I'll just take a kill. That's fine. It doesn't always have to be a glory kill. I can't believe those words just came out of my mouth. Blood Punch. I really like this little loop over here. They seem to have a hard time predicting what you're going to do around the, uh, around the little boost thing, the boost pad. One more glory kill, that'll give us our blood punch back. And, we're all ready for these dudes. Oh, I don't have any ammo. What am I, so why don't I just get some, oh, because that's not a, that's not a little guy, that's one of the teleporty guys. I will say I have a little bit of a problem with too many of the humanoid enemies maybe looking a little bit too alike. Let's get you out of here. Okay. It's Arachnotron time, and our resources are in an okay spot. They, now they're in an okay spot. The thing I said before was maybe not 100% correct. They're already turretless. Trying really hard to... There we go. Oh god. Oh god, that's an angry one. Managed to get down underneath me there. Almost dead. There we go. Alright, now there's one that's still at absolutely full, but I have Big Chainsaw. All I have to do is not get killed by these little enemies, and it's looking pretty good. You know what? I'll just take this. It'll give me a little bit of distance from that dude. Okay. Are we... 
Yeah! Hell yeah, this game is awesome. It just feels really, really good all the time. Give me that. Okay, I don't know if we're checkpointed here. We may as well just play forward until we notice it checkpointing us. Because I don't, obviously, as much fun as I had there, don't, would rather not have to do it again. Where's my objective? It's over there. Oh, sure, that thing. Uh, so that's interesting. Can I... Mm, I think I can make that. Uh, you know what? I might not be jumping high enough. Nope, I'm not. Okay, we gotta make a thing happen here. We gotta use that thing. Use that thing by climbing up above and getting around behind it. We do that by climbing up on that, but I'm missing one step somewhere. Oh, that's the step I'm missing. Yeah, that's just enough extra height. Okay. Very, very barely made that. Uh, is this... Yeah, okay, we are behind the cube. Well, this is gonna be cool. Oh, I thought we were just gonna swing the cube into that guy really hard. Uh, what is this gonna do to me? Oh, I guess it's... Okay, I guess I'm just gonna go up there and punch him myself. With my own giant hands. That makes sense. Or, or not. Or maybe that's not how that works. Let's try, let's try that one more time. Okay. I just wasn't close enough when I started the punch the first time. That is gross. Why don't they take that stuff out before they hang him up there? You know? It's like, uh... It's like a turkey. You would take all the innards of the turkey out before you tried to serve it? Is that what the analogy is here? Are we serving him? I do not fear you. This match is not won yet. Come find me, Slayer. I will be waiting. Look, I don't want to tell you your business, but have you been paying attention? I think you should fear me. Take the train to the Terror Dome. Yes, of course I'll do that. Why would I not do that? We need... So is it that we need to find one more combat encounter? Oops, I'm holding the button here instead of just tapping it. Or does this just does this mean I did all the combat encounters here, but I didn't do them well enough? Oh no, okay, there's one more one more encounter ahead. So yeah, we're totally gonna cap out the weapon points on this one. We didn't get all the secrets, but getting all the weapon points will make it easier for us to get all the secrets when we come back around. Right, stuff. Thank you for the stuff. Also, this stuff. And, you know, I guess I'm glad it came over here. I feel like it needs to it needs to start reading those E presses as uh, as interaction just a little bit earlier. It couldn't possibly be that I should press the button slightly later. No, of course not. I'm infallible. It's the game's problem. All right, well. Uh, it's not easy to retarget the, the mod we took for the plasma rifle. Uh, yeah, let's do this. I really, really, really like that slowdown thing. I wasn't even really thinking about it at the time. I was just thinking, hey, I like Max Payne. But yeah, the fact that the button you press to activate the slowdown is the button you press to aim all of your good, uh, your good weapon mods is really powerful. Alright. Blood punch that guy into, uh into glory kill state, which means we're already halfway back to our blood punch. It's fantastic. Let's just get a weapon lock on this dude. And didn't really hit him with that many of the, uh, the projectiles, even with the lock.
Wow, that guy jumped right through that rocket like it wasn't even a big deal. That's a little terrifying. Okay, I need, um, you. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Okay. That's a perfect hit right there. Super shotgun. Turns out it's pretty super. No, stop blocking. They're shielding his shield. Ah. That's a shame. Well, that does mean that we hit a checkpoint. So you know what? I think... No, no, no. We're going to give that one more try. I was going to... I was going to give up. Can you believe it? What would the Doom Slayer think of me? Let's let's start with this. You gotta admit that looks cool. Ow. I really thought it was gonna have a little bit more effect though. Alright, hold on. I wanna blood punch the other revenant. Wow, I don't think I hit him with a single one of those plasma shots. Also, I thought I I thought I had put him in the glory kill state more than once there. Uh, the core problem, I think, is that he's always orange. So, <laughs> so I'm having a little bit of trouble telling. Ooh, that's not good. I managed to jump sideways into a post. And when you do that, right as you go into slow motion, you have a lot of time to contemplate your failures, man. I know I said one more, but what I meant was, like, one more good one, you know? There we go. That's a better start. We gotta get rid of some of these shield guys, like, a little earlier on. Alright. I'll take that. And you'll take that. I blood punched that guy because I thought he was a revenant, because he did a thing where he had fire coming out of his back tricked me into wasting resources. Alright, I think most of those are going to hit him. I think that's a pretty good start. Uh, shotgun. Super shotgun. Nope, normal shotgun. Oh, right, armor is a thing that exists in the game. Hey, I should use my flamethrower. Ooh, check this out. Look, I totally remembered to flamethrower that guy. Look at all the armor I got and then immediately lost. Uh, Backpedaled into a shield enemy. You're getting blood punched for sure. It does, like, a huge percentage of their life. Although, not as much as I was hoping. Uh, you. You get it. Also you. I don't remember if we saw another, uh... Oh god. I was gonna say another chainsaw fuel around here. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take this. I need to make sure that I have enough rockets to deal with this situation. Oh, and also there's another revenant. Alright, just stay mobile. They can't kill you if they can't hit you. I'm having a hell of a time hitting this turret. Uh, ooh, that's plasma ammo. These are rockets. This is... That's more important. These guys are, uh, are pretty evasive. Okay. The Rachnatron is still up. Hey, that works. I mean, I, did, I didn't stick the grenade on the turret, but I stuck it up high enough on his body. Oh, don't lose now. 
Things are going so well. I'm not even... There he is. I was going to say, I'm not even sure who else is hitting me. That asshole. Got ourselves a bunch of health. These Ragnatrons are too damn mobile. Okay. Ooh. That was, uh... That was a close one a whole bunch of different times. I will lock in signal now. All right, well, I mean, the level's pretty much over, right? We have all of the, the weapon points and everything, so... I think we can probably just push through to the end. Is there... Am I, how much stuff am I missing? I could use some ammo. All right, we can start the next fight with 60. Ooh, health. Also, health is good. We can start the next fight off like this. That's fine. If there is indeed a next fight. I guess when we're close to the end of the level, we'll get the fast travel notification, right? Or maybe we already got it and I just didn't notice. That's possible. Alright, yeah, we didn't do super great on exploration here. Uh, obviously, combat, I'm an unstoppable god of death. Nobody disputes that. Uh, we did our challenges, which means third Sentinel battery, right? Because I think we got two during the level. So what were we missing? I missed a Codex entry, the one Sentinel battery, and then some toys and stuff. Okay, nothing, nothing that contributes to our actual combat power, at least. Except maybe that Sentinel battery. Also, also, I guess we got some XP and it does some... I don't even know what's going on with all this Battle Pass stuff. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and head back up to the fortress. The hunt for the priest through his arctic base has brought you to the Doom Hunter Research and Excavation Facility, where the final showdown will take place. Okay, I guess we're going back to our fortress in the near future. Uh, probably this, actually, is where we want to call it for today. So that's going to be it for us for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Come back next time, soon. I promise you it will be soon. I can't wait. Uh, for apparently another Hell Priest, and also we're gonna ride a train. That sounds fun, and we'll see you then.